Welcome to the final days. Today is April 8, 2019. I'm putting out this short video to show viewers how close to the end of the age we are, as discussed by Jesus throughout the Bible's New Testament. I've been watching several different channels who have produced articles describing a matrix breakdown visible in our skies, uh, just parts of the skies around the world. You can visit Jeff P's channel to see more about the matrix actually ripping. A photographer used a special filtering lens on his camera and a matrix showed up behind the clouds. You can check out his channel for more of these images and how he photographs them. Many cameras have captured a spider web matrix shrouding the earth in an attempt to hide from view the approaching planetary system that many channels have been featuring. Untold trillions of dollars have been spent building a massive system of deception for decades to prevent the masses from knowing what's coming upon the earth. But if you go to the internet or to um, YouTube and you search for the phrase, glitch in the matrix or matrix breakdown, you'll see that the enemy has literally flooded the search engines with so many hokey, nonsensical articles that it's nearly impossible to find any serious articles on the topic. This is a very common practice used by the enemy to make it difficult to find the truth. The enemies of Christ do not want you to know how close to the end we are. They do not want you to turn your life over to Christ while you still have time. Information is at the end of this video instructing you on how to accept Christ into your life. Part of this matrix breakdown is likely the strange squares and triangles that many are now seeing in the skies. Mr. MBB333 often shows these gigantic squares and triangular shapes in the skies from different parts of the world. I believe that these squares have something to do with the matrix that so many people are now capturing in photographs and video. In order to obtain images of the sky for my videos, I use VentureSky.com to find out where the non-cloudy areas are in the far north. The past couple of times I've done this, I've seen a strange square on the screen showing 100% cloud cover on one side of the strange line and 100% sunny skies on the other side of the line. I thought this was just a, a glitch on my screen. Well, today I saw it again. Anyone can go to VentureSky.com to see this. When you arrive at this website, simply click on the oval on the left labeled Clouds and then zoom out. Some days you can see this gigantic square in the sky. As you mouse over the screen, a small label appears on the mouse cursor that shows the percentage of cloud cover at the location of the cursor. So I decided to find two spots on the FAA camera, FAA weather cameras that exactly match the two spots on VentureSky.com, one just above the cloud line and one just below. These two spots that I randomly picked just happen to be in British Columbia, Canada. I mouse over this strange straight cloud line and just below the line my mouse cursor says 0% clouds. Just above the line my mouse cursor says 100% clouds. This just didn't seem possible. So on the FAA weather camera here is a spot just below the cloud line and it's in Vernon, British Columbia. As you can see it's a nice sunny day in Vernon. So now we're going to look at an FAA camera location just above the cloud line, not far from Vernon, maybe just, I imagine, maybe 10, 20 miles or so, something, you know, give or take several miles. So just above the cloud line, it says 100% cloud coverage. This location just happened to be called Salmon Arm in British Columbia in Canada. And look how cloudy it is here. It's so cloudy that none of the sky is visible at all. 
And I, per I performed this same spot check in several different locations where VentureSky.com showed clouds above the cloud line and then perfectly sunny skies below the cloud line. And all the other locations I checked yielded the same results that you just saw here. Cloudy images were above the cloud line and sunny skies below the cloud line. Jesus describes the last days in Luke chapter 21 verse 25 when he says that we will see signs in the sky when the end is near. Approaching the last days is actually good news and cause for celebration for faithful followers of Jesus Christ because he promises to remove from earth those believers who are living in holiness. This is commonly called the rapture and it will take place quickly and quietly just before the dawn of the great tribulation. The New King James Version of Luke chapter 21 verse 36 reads, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. Jesus is referring to the Great Tribulation. He is saying that those who are counted worthy will escape all of God's wrath. To be counted worthy we must be living in holiness. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. These next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life in the event you are seeking Him. Simply pause the screen if you need more time to read the text. And thank you for watching this video.